Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I asked you guys a while back which video you guys would rather see. Um, chicken, sausage, Alfredo or the one I made in my last video. So here it is and what you're going to need is you're going to need a pound of chicken smoked sausage. You're going to need a half a pound or eight ounces of penne pasta or linguine if that's what you choose. I like the way the holes are there. You're going to need a cup of broccoli florets, fresh or frozen, half a cup of milk, you need half a cup of Parmesan cheese, you're going to need two tablespoons of butter, and you're going to need a can of cream of mushroom soup. So let's get started. Okay, you're going to want to turn your stove to a medium high. Let that start warming up. Go ahead and put in your two tablespoons of butter. Get yourself a spoon or something to stir this with. Now, we're going to cut this sausage into one inch squares. Well, not, I'm sorry, we're going to cut the sausage into one inch pieces. So, however you want to do that about one inches apart. Okay. Now, the last video I made was also a chicken. Um, that was chicken kielbasa. And it, it tasted really good. So, these are all, you know, mismatched sizes. It's no big deal. Unless you're going to be taking a photo of it or something. I'm going to go ahead and make these a little bit more uniform. Okay. So let's get, get the oil going. I'm going to go ahead and put the sausages in there. Now you're going to want to brown these up while you got them in here. It's going to take about three or four or five minutes and through the magic of YouTube, you won't have to watch for that long. Now, what you do with the pasta, is you, whatever kind of pasta you pick, you're going to Go by the instructions to get al dente because it's still going to keep cooking once it's in here and it's going to come out perfect. You don't want it to come out mushy. So what you do is go where it, you know, where it says al dente and about four minutes before it's done, throw in your broccoli. And once you get that cooked, go ahead and strain them both and this will be your mixture right here. Let's brown these up just a little more. And you can brown these up however much or little you want to. And we're going to be using salt and pepper to taste at the end. I'm not going to give measurements because some people like a lot of salt, some people like a lot of pepper. Okay, now we've got these browned up. We're going to go ahead and start adding the other stuff. Go ahead and get this going in here. Sorry about the angle. Someday I'll probably switch camera to the other side. So make sure you grab something to grab this handle. Because it gets hot if you're using cast iron. Everything in here, if you cook in a normal pan, would be awesome. But if you cook it in the cast iron, it's going to taste way better. It's, it's like salt, but it's not. But it enhances, it brings out flavors of food. I don't know how to explain it. We're going to go ahead and add the milk. And the Parmesan cheese, I like to call it. Some people call it pasta cheese. If you know what pasta cheese is, leave a comment. I 
also known as queso de pies. Okay, now let's go ahead and get this in there. Easy peasy, came out in one big glob. All right. Now if you know how to make your own cream of mushroom soup, it wouldn't work because you gotta have the concentrate. Just seeing if you're paying attention. Okay, everybody. It's so looking really good. I can't believe the smell. It smells really good. Mmm, tastes good. Alright, so basically what you're gonna do, you can go ahead and turn that off. You're gonna, um, after you do all that, you're gonna go ahead and make it till it's hot and bubbly. Doesn't that look good? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smells really good too. Okay, let's give her a taste. Get a little noodle. Mmm. That's really good, people. It took less than 30 minutes to make. It cost me about $7.50. Go check it out. And remember, don't hate, congratulate. 